So uh, now we come to the second, uh, uh, you can say, section. Uh, the next three uh, chapters is on how to uh, how to increase the bodhicitta, how to develop bodhicitta. Uh, and there, uh, the um, uh, the uh, three chapters, and uh, uh, the third chapter of this, or the sixth chapter, is on. Um, Patience, and <clears throat> now we come to the the chapter of the patience. Uh, actually, uh, last time we came to the middle of this chapter, and then somehow uh, it got stuck there. And so I just uh, give a brief um, uh, kind of. Uh, nutshell resume of the ch chapter that we have covered so far. Uh, so the first, uh, this chapter uh, consists of three things. Uh, the first is uh, the, the importance of um, understanding uh, how important it is uh, to let go of our anger and hatred. Uh, that's the first one. Uh, the second is on how to uh, practice, how to uh, cultivate uh, patience. Uh, there we will talk about different kinds of uh, patience also. And then the third is about uh, how to respect Session beings, respecting session beings, showing respect or having respect uh, for other session beings from your uh, deep down. So the first is, um, you know, to let go of anger or hatred. Uh, now this is uh, to. Uh, uh, not to say, I mean, this is also, uh, there are lots of misunderstanding about anger. Uh, you know, usually people think that um, uh, sometimes uh, if, if you see something there uh, happening that you, you know it is very harmful, and it's not good, and you want to make that uh, stop happening. And people most of the time say, I'm angry because of that. Uh, well, in one way maybe you are angry, but in another way it's not that, that's not necessarily anger in one way. Uh, it could be actually compassion. Because, you know, you see, for instance, uh, somebody uh, doing lots of injustice to either yourself or other people, uh, or, you know, you see that lots of injustice or um, negative things happening, and you don't like it, you don't want that to happen, you really want, wish that this should stop. That's in itself not anger, that's actually compassion. Uh, but most of the time we express it with anger. Mm -hmm. uh, because we, we don't know how to, how to do it uh, compassionately. Uh, the, we always, you know, uh, hate. Uh, those who think 
for those who are supposed to be doing this uh, negative things. And then we think that if I, you know, kind of um, punish them, or if I, you know, uh, somehow get rid of them, uh, that would end all the problems. Uh, and I take those people as, uh, you know, uh, I uh, very, very bad, and, you know, uh, if we can get rid of those people, then everything will be well. But we don't understand uh, a little bit uh, the, this, the whole situation in a way. Uh, because even if we get rid of those people, uh, then, uh, you know, if other people will come who will do the same thing. And uh, different situations will arise, which will also bring the same kind of things. And even those who are actually uh, the object of this injustice, uh, if they become, you know, uh, more powerful, they could sometimes do the same to the others. So therefore, you know, uh, when we see a problem and we say, that uh, this problem should be solved. Mm. It's not o always like, you know, only these people or this is kind of um, defeated or punished or, you know, then the situation uh, is completely changed. It's what we need to uh, understand is that, you know, uh, and we, we need to focus on is not about uh, those people to punish those people to get rid of those people but to solve the problem and if we can do that if if we can focus not only you know with hatred and anger and you know uh, against some people and then take on one side and then then it becomes a fight, then it becomes, a, uh, you know, just a, another, another struggle, you know, uh, because you know, if our side wins, then uh, we might do the same kind of uh, atrocities that these people have been doing towards us or, you know. So therefore, you know, when this kind of um, uh, this, this, this attitude, you know, this feeling that something going wrong, and uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I don't, I'm unhappy about that. That's a very good thing. Because if you don't have that, then, you know, then that means we don't have any feeling. But when we have that, we feel that this should stop then instead of becoming angry and hateful to the other people, if we can, you know, if we can just, you know, understand that this situation should stop and, you know, this sh we should do something that will be good for everybody, both sides. And how can we do that? No? Uh, and we also not un only understand the difficulties that are experienced by those who suffer this problem, but also those who inflict them. They have also lots of cause effects, lots of fear, lots of, you know, uh, all kind of different kind of negative things happening to them. They are also forced in many different ways. So therefore, when we can look a little bit deeply into the situation from all, all sides, then instead of anger, uh, we feel uh, compassion. We feel, you know, uh, we understand the whole situation and therefore you know, our mind becomes 
more focused on how to how to become better instead of you know I don't like the people I would like to you know uh, hate those people. Now this is the thing understanding main thing here. It doesn't mean to say that you don't do anything. It doesn't mean to say that you don't uh, fight for a cause. It doesn't mean to say that you you become totally indifferent what is whatever is happening and you don't you know you don't kind of uh, take any uh, actions you don't help anybody or anything like that we do all those things we should do all those things but you know, uh, we don't allow ourselves to be carried uh, by our hatred and anger and and uh, ill will uh, we all we 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 make ourselves um, you know uh, our mind become more more um, broad more uh, more patient more um, more um, spacious and then we want to do something that is helpful uh, to everybody uh, and try not to hold on or you know um, lock into anger uh, because if we just become totally overpowered by our anger only anger and hatred and all these things uh, then uh, it's a very negative thing because that you know uh, first that makes us unhappy that makes us small minded that makes us partisan you know only one sided that makes our mind only can look only from one side this is you know my side this is the other side or you know uh we we can't have this uh, uh feeling of uh, uh kindness towards everybody and if we um kind of uh, uh if the hatred and anger is inside us then we are unhappy uh we cannot feel Uh, light we cannot feel good we cannot have a uh, complete kind of uh, unbiased uh, kindness and compassion uh, when we hold on to anger and hatred so therefore you know by understanding this you know, that uh, it is very important and very good this natural feeling of most of our people to uh, to try to do something that's helpful to fight against uh, negative things happening uh, try to help people uh, try to fight for a just and positive cause but then not you know uh, not overwhelmed or overpowered by our anger and hatred because if we do something with anger and hatred it always kind of uh, ends up with aggression ends up with something doing something more harmful and something that would hurt and and give harm to some people and if you do that uh, we think that 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 will help the the other other people it might a little bit yes but you know uh, it would also harm other people and so therefore uh, and also as long as we have this hatred and anger inside us you know uh, it's it's a uh, it's very negative and um, anger and hatred always you know uh 
burns. It's like fire, they say. It burns. Anything that's put into it, the object of its object of anger and hatred, uh, naturally is burnt. We try to harm them. We try to do something that uh, that's uh, uh, that's to get rid of them, to harm them. But also, it burns ourselves. Uh, there is nobody who would say that. You know, uh, this morning or last last day, I was uh, so angry. I was so happy because I was so angry. You never say that. It's uh, anger is a disturbed state of mind. Therefore, it's bound to be unhappy. It's bound to create something problem for others and for yourself. Like fire burns things that. It's set on, but it also burns itself out, and everything it becomes uh, ashes at the end. Nothing remains. So it's like that. So to understand this, it's not that we will get rid of all anger and all hatred and all negative feelings right like this. It's difficult. But to be able to understand that to. Uh, to brood anger and you know hatred and ill will is not good for me, not good for others, not good now and not good in the long run. When we understand this, then you know we start to let go. We can start to let go. You know? uh, we don't have to be angry with ourselves. Don't have to be angry with others, uh, you know. Uh, we don't have to, because I think sometimes the feeling of guilt, some kind of guilt feeling, is also an anger, you know. Uh, it should be. I should not be like this. I should be like this. I'm upset with what, the way it is, or the way I am, and things like that, or the way I did. So therefore, this is the first and most important thing, you know. That anger, out of all negative emotions, you know, uh, hatred and anger is more negative and more dangerous. Uh, other negative emotions, like you know, uh, is has its negative side, but you know, not as strongly negative as anger and hatred. So to understand that, and by that, then, if you have this understanding, then we start to, you know, uh, start to slowly uh, practice. We can start to practice patience, uh, because the whole thing is like this. You know, we are not. It's not forcing us to, you know. Uh, this is very important to understand. The, the Buddhist practice is not about forcing. You know, like my teacher told me not to get upset or angry or hate. Therefore, I can't be upset or angry. Uh, it's not like that. You know, it wouldn't work that way. You know, uh, even if my teacher told me not to get angry, and then. I try to, you know, go around, uh, you know, with a kind of uh, uh, smile, which I just uh, is not there from here. But you know, just I I put on an actor's smile on myself. That wouldn't work. That that's not what we are talking about. Mm. What we are talking about is that we deeply understand why. You know, too much anger, hatred, and ill will is is not good, not useful, not not beneficial to myself and others now and in the long run. So therefore, when I experience that due to my you know um, habitual tendency, due to my you know uh, situations and things like that, 
I see that this is not something I need to hold on to. You know, it's not good for me. It's not good for others. So sometimes it's not easy to let go because I'm too much kind of uh, too much things. You know, I have already lots of different ideas and. But when I see this, then if I learn more about you know deeply uh, why I should you know there's a different way of thinking. When I learn this different way of understanding, different way of reacting, different way of seeing things, then it becomes more and more natural that you know yes, of course there's no real. Uh, Need to be uh, too much angry. Of course, you know, sometimes you need to act in a uh, harsh way or a strong way or wrathful way. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you have to be so angry and upset. You know, uh, sometimes even the fighters, uh, the martial art people, you know, tell tell us that uh, if you are fighting with somebody also, in order to kind of really kind of a military way or, you know, a battle kind of a thing or war. Even then, they say, uh, if your mind is, uh, you know, too much angry or too much hateful, then you don't become a good good fighter, you don't become a good um, a soldier, mm, because you have to be more calm to be able to be a good soldier. Uh, so therefore, you know, uh, it's not about just getting angry and hateful. It's about, you know, trying to learn how to do things in a way which is beneficial to yourself and beneficial to everybody. So therefore, this is the first thing. Then we come to, you know, uh, second is uh, generating or developing a patience and uh, practicing patience. Uh, now we come next time we come about that. So there then uh, actually we left somewhere in the middle of that how to how to develop the patience. So I'll talk about that in our next meeting. And so hopefully uh, all of you are well and uh, hopefully you know uh, the uh, the pandemic that's uh, uh, ravaging the world now will um, soon uh, dissolve and uh, my best wishes and prayers to all of you. Thank you very much.